What is up you guys, it is Brad here, and today I've got a very special package with me. This just got delivered from FedEx all the way from across the pond, and it's something I am super, super excited about and cannot wait to open it up. They did an excellent job packing this, for sure. All right, let's pull it out. I've seen this online for years now, and I'm so excited to be checking out a oh, whole my own copy. All right, so this product here is made by a company called WLWYB. They are basically well known now for their Lego periodic tables. This here is version three, their latest version. And oh my god, it's a pretty model here. Wow, so let's take it out here You guys can see here is the first glance at the periodic table You guys can see it says periodic table of the Lego colors version 3 made in 2023 This is number 5883. I don't know how many they made but over 10,000 have been sold and you guys can see here There are a ton of Lego colors dozens and dozens of Lego colors here So it's actually 15% more colors than the version 2 that was out a few years ago now. So I guess for starters, the first thing I'm noticing about the periodic table is actually how light it is. I was expecting it to be a little bit heavier, but it's basically on a foam board here with all the different Lego parts. They use really small pieces, so it's very easy to see. Every single one on here is official Lego pieces, so that was very important, and they all match with the actual colors here. So the table itself here does actually feature 75 different Lego colors in 15 different shapes. You guys can see that there's a bunch of different one by one bricks, there's one by one plates, one by one studs, one by one tiles one by one ground tiles a bunch of different iterations here of different pieces to really try and encompass all the different Lego colors out there. Why I'm really excited for this is because sometimes Lego colors can be hard to identify, especially some of the newer colors here. I always get confused with like the bright light yellow and the bright light orange or the neon yellow, which is a brand new color by the way. Over here they've got, which one? what's this one? They've gotten the satin trans bright green, which I didn't even know that was one. I would have just called it trans bright green, but that's actually over here. So if you have been in the hobby for years or even even if you're newer to the hobby, this is going to be a great product for you as well because, as I said, sometimes things can get confusing, but now you don't have to reference it anymore. I used to, if I was trying to look for a color, would like find a piece, then I would just try and find a set that had the same color or piece in it, then I would go to that set on Bricklink and try and identify it that way. This is going to save me so much time. If you're a Lego builder or even a Lego seller, especially if you're a Lego seller, I feel like this is going to be really, really helpful. I myself sell Lego on Bricklink and sometimes it's really hard to identify the colors or I just don't know what I'm talking about so I don't want to sound uneducated, especially if I'm trying to make a video here. So I know this is going to be super duper helpful. What's really cool is each of the boxes here does actually have a lot of different information about the Lego bricks. So in each box here, there's a few different ones. So they actually, beside that, they have the production year. So it says if it's in production or retired based on the color of the rectangle, and they actually have the production years. Under each piece, they've also got the Bricklink color ID, which is really important, and the Lego color ID, which is good for the sites. They've also got the Bricklink name and the Lego name because many true Lego fans know that there is actually a difference between the two. Not all of them do line up like they should. And they also have a number which is the number of sets featuring the color. The final little part on the legend that's important to know about are the colors here where they identify if it's a solid, a metallic or pearl, a glitter, a milky or a transparent brick. Like I said you guys I am super excited about this product because I think it's going to be super helpful for a lot of Lego builders like myself or Lego sellers and it's going to be something really awesome to add in the Lego room. I have been wanting this product ever since I saw the first iteration come out several years ago. So that's why I'm really excited to be adding this to my collection here. I know this is going to be very, very helpful for me. I know I'm going to reference it a lot. Plus, it looks really cool. I was never a science kid. I'm more of a creative kid, hence why I have a room full of Lego. So this is kind of like mixing the best of both worlds. Now that I'm really excited about this product, I'm so excited to actually go find a place for it here in my Lego room. So I don't exactly know where I want my periodic table of Lego colors to go, but let's take a look around the Lego room and see what I can come up with. Excuse the mess in here, but as you guys can tell, a lot of the space here in the Lego room, or the wall space at least, is completely completely filled up with a lot of other things. If you guys are familiar with my Lego room, you guys would know that this over here is my build area, which is where I do obviously all my Lego building, so it makes sense to have the Lego colors somewhere around here. However, the only free wall space I see is here at the Lego City or down here below some of the art sets, and I don't really want it that low. And I guess this kind of looks like free wall space, but it's literally behind the TV, so that won't be a good spot either. The only place I can think of that might work out would be on the side of the cabinet here, because as you guys can see, there isn't really anything there. That being said, I don't know if the periodic table actually fit there. All right, I guess this is the moment of truth. Honestly, 
not too bad. My first thought is I want to center it because that would look the best, but I'm afraid it would get caught on the drawers there. So if I just put it down here a little bit more, it doesn't even look that bad. And this is somewhere where I could look at it right away and it'd be easy access to reference the colors. Now I just got to go see if I have any double-sided tape or even some sticky tack. I got some command strips here as well as some scissors so I could actually hang it up. I'm just going to cut it in half because I know I don't need a full one because it is such a light product. Oh man, it's killing me a little to see that it's not centered. And there we go, guys. It looks absolutely sick up here. Oh my god, I love it. Wow. This already looks so great here, and I know this is going to be so incredibly useful when it comes to identifying LEGO element colors. There is literally no better place I could think to turn to than the periodic table right here. Holy crap, this is awesome. So I just want to give a huge thank you to WLWYB for sending me this over to review. I am super excited to be adding this to my LEGO collection. I know it is going to look great over there by my build station and it is going to be so, so useful in the future. Like a 10 out of 10 product. I'm actually very genuinely excited about this. So once again, thank you so much to WLWYB for sending this over to review. If you guys are interested in picking up your own LEGO periodic table, I will have a promo code link down below where you guys will actually save some money and get this to your own LEGO collection. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy this, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you all here in the next video.